cancer metastasis, receptors, and pathways. In our video, we hope to explain what metastatic cancer is and to highlight recent progress on illuminating the exact molecular pathways of metastasis. In general, metastasis is characterized by several steps. First, cancer cells from primary tumors locally invade surrounding tissue by penetrating basement membrane and then entering the lymph and circulatory systems in a process called intravision. Next, they exit the bloodstream and form a macroscopic secondary tumor that can undergo angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels. For a while, no one knew exactly how metastasis occurred on a molecular level. Researchers were facing a scientific black box, knowing that locally confined tumors went through an unknown process and then emerged in a lethal metastatic form. But in a highly cited paper published in Nature in 2001, two scientists named Mueller and Zlotnik discovered the G-protein coupled receptor CXCR4 and the chemokine ligand CXCL12 to be associated with breast cancer metastasis. Subsequent experiments similarly found that removing CXCR4 resulted in lower levels of other markers for metastasis, like HHPRT and HCXCR4. Their landmark results set the foundation for further studies into the various pathways of CXCR4 receptors. From here on, we will discuss the cyclic AMP pathway and the IP3 pathway of metastasis, both of which are mediated by CXCR4. Both pathways start with the binding of CXCL12 to CXCR4, a G-protein coupled receptor. As demonstrated by this model, CXCR4 has many common characteristics of membrane proteins, including seven hydrophobic alpha helices that make up the middle of the molecule. Moreover, the intracellular end of CXCR4, denoted by the orange coloration, is polar and composed primarily of positively charged residues, which again is typical of membrane proteins. Several residues are key to the binding mechanism. For CXCR4, the negatively charged asparagine-171, glutamine-288, asparagine-187, and asparagine-193 have been discovered to form key salt bridges with positively charged residues on CXCL12. CXCL12 is the ligand that binds to the receptor CXCR4. It is a smaller protein and is composed of only one alpha helix and one beta pleated sheet. The positively charged lysine 1, arginine 8, and arginine 12 form salt bridges with the previously mentioned CXCR4 residues. In this visual, key salt bridges that hold the ligand to the receptor are illustrated. Asparagine 171 and glutamine 288 bind to lysine 1. Asparagine 187 binds to arginine 8, and asparagine 193 binds to arginine 12. What is astounding about CXCR4 is its sensitivity to mutation. The substitution of glutamate 288 to aspartate retains the carboxylic side chain but removes a carbon. This mutation actually disrupts the whole pathway because the corresponding lysine 1 in CXCL12 can't reach far enough to associate with the shorter aspartate, thus preventing binding. The binding of ligand CXCL12 to CXCR4 is theorized to activate subsequent pathways by bringing the transmembrane alpha helices closer together and by grouping the positively charged residues on the intracellular side, as shown in step B. This will activate the G-protein complex, as shown in step C. When CXCL12 binds to CXCR4, GDP is released and replaced by GTP. Several pathways are activated by this binding and activation of a G protein. One such pathway involves G alpha stimulating adenocyclase to produce cyclic AMP, a secondary messenger molecule that then activates protein kinase A, or PKA. PKA then activates cyclic AMP responsive element binding protein, or CREB, a transcription factor that is transported into the nucleus and regulates the transcription of cancer-related genes that propel the cell from G phase to S phase, stimulating cell division. And a second pathway that also results from the binding of CXCR4, activated G-alpha also activates phospholipase C, which leads to the production of secondary messengers 
diacylglycerol, DAG, and IP3. These messengers release calcium that's been stored inside intracellular vesicles. This calcium attaches myosin and actin polymers to the membrane, facilitating cellular chemotaxis, or cellular movement. The calcium also recruits matrix metalloproteinase, or MMP, a peptidase that breaks extracellular matrix proteins, allowing tumor cells to escape from local parent tumors. While the CAMP and IP3 pathways of CXCR4 are well understood, there are other cancer pathways involving the receptor that should be further studied. Secondly, CXCR4 has also been found to play a role in non-cancer-related diseases, like HIV infection. Lastly, more research is needed to develop clinical applications, such as suppressing CXCR4 expression to prevent metastatic spread.